Hey, what's up, everybody? Uh, about a week ago, Unity just published two new starter assets uh, for the first-person uh, character controller and the third-person character controller because uh, it uses a new input system and a cinemation virtual camera. So I would like to uh, make a video to demonstrate its usage of these two systems and my way to expand uh, the starter assets. So it has two controllers, but uh, I would like to start from the third person uh, character controller and they use mouse scrolling up and down to make a smooth transition between the third person view and the first person view. So we don't need two uh, character controllers anymore. So in this process, I would like to talk about the coding details and share my experience. So first uh, installation is very simple on uh, official YouTube channels, uh, they have everything. So here I just uh, make a very uh, quick demonstration. So this is an uh, empty project. Uh, uh, I'm using the 2020.3 uh, unit version. So um, it's new. Uh, I just uh, need to install uh, it's uh, uh, the third uh, person uh, controller. So you have to download uh, to your My Assets and then, then uh, finding from here and uh, import. And it will ask you, um, do you want to disable the original uh, input manager? Uh, click yes. Okay, now it's done. Um, and then you can find that there are a few components here, uh, tutorial, tools, and a cinema machine. And if you go to file, uh, settings, player settings, you can find uh, that the new input systems are already there and uh, the old input managers is uh, disabled. Okay, go to the folder, uh, third person controller, and the playground. Uh, here, the preset uh, things uh, here. So let's just uh, uh, in the play mode and the play around. Okay, so you can use the mouse to control uh, the rotation and WESD for uh, walking. And it's pretty smooth. So the mouse is locked uh, in, at the center of the screen. So you want to be able to see it. And uh, press space bar for jump and holding the shift or uh, sprint so it, uh, the character can run. Okay, that's about it. And you have to press yes, C button uh, on the keyboard to uh, exit. Okay, so there are a few components here. Uh, camera, you can see that there is a cinema machine brain and there is a follow camera. Uh, the cinema machine virtual camera is there, um, including all kinds of uh, properties. Okay, uh, I use a third person follow camera. Okay, this is a character. Transform, uh, animator type of things. So this is a new uh, starter assets include uh, the third person controller, a uh, basic rigid body push uh, script, uh, starter assets input that's from the new input system. And also this is a player input. Um, it's from the, for the new input system. Okay, so now we go to the input system folder. Uh, here we have a starter assets. Okay, dot input actions. So double click. It will open a editor window. Uh, you can drag to top and so dock there. And action maps. Uh, it's using uh, it's called player and there are different actions and the properties. Okay, so yeah, you can play around. And uh, uh, the official uh, channels has more details about this. Okay. And um, 
So uh, the main thing is uh, for the starter assets. Okay, so here is a script. And another important uh, script is uh, from the third person controller script and the third person controller uh, script. So uh, this is for the input and this is for the controller. So in the next video, I will show you how to expand the starter assets um, to achieve the goal as I mentioned before.